This is sonopath.com. We'd like to take you through a nice tour of the site. It has been revamped and revamped and streamlined based on the latest technology from an IT perspective and the largest archive you will run into online in veterinary medicine. We have our home page here and you will see we have a case of the month that comes up every month at the beginning of the month. You can see the image, the teaser images here and this is our logo veterinary medicine from the inside out because we have found that veterinary medicine isn't always what we expect it to be and when we are looking at it from the sonogram or from another imaging method we often get surprised and the way we think about veterinary medicine has definitely changed uh, as a function of the number of ultrasounds that we have done in our community and uh, while building this site so uh, essentially to move through the site you'll see that we can click on the case of the month and the site moves as fast as your veterinary connection and you'll see that this format you will see throughout the site every case that we have thousands and thousands of cases have the information from presentation to clinical differential um, uh, put forth by Dr. Rima Lobetti and other internists uh, from a preliminary standpoint so if you only had this information this is a clinical differential based on that. Then we move to the sonogram, the sonographic description by myself or by a radiologist, and the sonographic differential diagnosis that we see after the sonogram. So here are the still images and the videos will be, uh, will be down a little bit lower. How we got to the diagnosis, sampling, whether it's ultrasound guided, find the aspirate or biopsy, our diagnosis based on the sampling or outcome, and then here's the outcome, ultrasound guided FNA revealed renal lymphoma, in this particular case, and then comments. And there's a lot of uh, very crucial information in the comments and just some extra things on how we approach the case. As far as the images go, we may have radiographs or uh, CT, MRI, uh, ultrasound in this particular uh, case, and the sonographic description describing what's going on with the case, like this mass on this kidney and why we think it's a mass as opposed to uh, just a nodule and uh, then we go down to the videos. All the videos run within the site. You do not need specific, specific software. You can run it off your iPhone, off your iPad, off of most smart uh, phones and, and computers. Uh, whether it's a PC or a Mac, it really doesn't matter. You'll see that the videos will run based on your internet connection. So if you have a slower connection, they will run slower. If you have a fast connection, they will run fast. And um, the faster the connection, the, uh, the less you'll have these pauses. So we put as much information as we had in the case. Not all these cases are, um, are uh, complete workups. They are just the basic information. It's a historical recount of each case. And so you can, archive, or you can look into our archive of cases of the month for free. You can go back uh, to a number of years that we have them archived. And all of these on the case of the month are there for a reason. They're interesting cases. They may push the envelope on interpretation. Um, but uh, they're, they're definitely all interesting to peruse, so we invite you to do that. Uh, our products are on the next tab, and we are uh, shortly going to be downloading continuing education, so you can download uh, a 45 to 50 minute PowerPoint uh, that is actually a video of a PowerPoint with our specialists that talk about everything from cardiology to dermatology, internal medicine, proteinuria, and of course ultrasound. So you'll see that library coming up soon. Are currently our two books that are in uh, process of being finalized. The curbside guide should be ready in the next couple of months. Right now it's mid-May, so uh, probably mid-summer this will be out. And then our gargantuan uh, encyclopedia on ultra clinical sonography and ultrasound. This is still in the works and we're probably looking at some time this year. And actively, we have our S-step progression of echoes and abdomen and a combination package as well as our instructional CDs. These are essentially uh, manifestations of uh, diagnostic efficiency by means of ultrasound. We've come up with an innovative approach on how to do a sonogram in a very systematic manner, utilizing uh, specific tools that I use in the field and have under a, uh, a long career of high volume of cases in order to get in, get done, get out, get the rock star views that you need. And we will shortly have audio and video uh, downloads that will go with this instructional program that I uh, think you'll find about as innovative as possible. And it goes out of the box regarding the traditional radiology approach and into the box of melding technology 
and um, passive pressure techniques and rapid scanning techniques to be as efficient as possible. To get in and get, on, get done with your sonogram in 10 to 15 minutes or less at very, very high levels, uh, finding every pelvic urethra, every common bile duct on every case. Whether you see it or not, it's important to just capture it in the video. So you can read through all of these products that we have. I think you'll find them all to be innovative and extremely helpful. Um, then the About tab, the Specialist. These are all the specialists that work with us currently at sonopath.com and it's growing all the time. Uh, we have cardiologists, internal medicine, DABBP, uh, and uh, surgery. And all of these people chime in on the interactive forum that we'll see in just a minute. Our clinical search and basic search, these are... Uh, these are innovative search engines that we created in order to search all of the pathology in our archive rapidly. So let's say you want to see what a pheochromocytoma looks like. You just type in pheochromocytoma and apply. And all of these are cases of pheochromocytoma, and they all open up, and we have five plus pages of pheochromocytoma. So you think that might be a rare disease? Well, you'll find that it's actually quite common. And the only way to find it is with a sonogram. And of course, each case comes up in the same sort of format that we saw with the, um, with the case of the month in video that runs within the site. Again, all the information from top to, to, top to bottom, from presentation to outcome. So after the clinical search, we also have an advanced search. Or after the basic search, we have an advanced search. You can access it from the tab or from the side here. And what this is, is you can search your case by clinical signs, signalment, and history. So if you open up species, we have a dog, and let's say he's a neutered male, and you can have your technicians do this for you. Let's say you get a case, you don't know what's going on. Have your technician, um, have your technician punch this in for you. Let's say he has a low albumin, for example. And you just put in the history as it comes down, and it's all alphabetized, clinical signs, it's not doing right, he has abdominal pain, maybe he has anemia, maybe he has constipation, uh, and it goes on and on and on. And once you do that, you click search, you click search, and, uh, and it'll come up all the cases that, do, that does that within our archive. And then you reset it and you can start again and search another case. So you can be in the room doing your exam while your technician is profiling your case on Sonopath. And then when you, in between exams, you can look at what comes up and you think, oh my goodness, Addison's disease. I didn't think of that. The great pretender. So um, it's meant to, we spent thousands and thousands of dollars and three years building this, this uh, search engine for this specific purpose. Because I remember when I was in general practice that a tool like this would be huge to be able to just peruse in between exam rooms and make sure I was going the right direction in any diagnostic workup. So those are the two searches, basic search and advanced search. Uh, and then we go to the forum. Now the forum is, as you would think, uh, interactive, um, an interactive forum where you can just post images of any type in veterinary medicine or possibly even vacation tips, whatever. It's, uh, it's a matter of uh, we're here to create the community and feed off of each other and just getting better at what we do. And it's, you can see all of, the, um, all of the subjects that we're dealing with. These are recent posts here. And the, uh, the post from, from uh, this particular doctor, you, put, you can post um, uh, still images or videos. And they come up with a similar format. And then we have comments from Dr. Lobetti, who's an internal medicine specialist, myself, uh, a surgeon if, if applicable, and we try to do the best we can in helping resolve the case or give, give directions on it. And these were only stills, but you can also have uh, uh, diarrhea. Uh, you can also have the, the diarrhea post here where you have, I think there's a video out or just still images here, patient with diarrhea, don't know what to do with it. Um, uh, echocardiograms, radiographs, skin lesions, a video of a neuro case. You can just take a video off your iPhone and upload it to Sonopath. And here's an example of a video on a cardiac case. Again, runs right within the site itself. And my connection is just a little bit slow right here, but if you have a solid connection, things move in pretty quickly. And these are all the subjects. You can imagine everything from business of ultrasound. Veterinary technicians have their own 
uh, areas here in the forum, orthopedic disease, oncology, kidneys, hospital issues, uh, anything that you can imagine veterinary medicine we deal with in the forum so you can imagine how, uh, how useful this would be. And of course resources. Now these are all the resources. We have lots of articles, we have classified ads uh, that you can post or you can peruse if you're looking for a used ultrasound machine. Um, this is our article section, lots of articles that we've done, uh, presentations that we've done at ACVIM and ECVIM. Uh, my article on ultrasound guide, the laser ablation from uh, um, from uh, JAVMA um, and lots and lots of information here defining a gallbladder mucosil is an article that we wrote what do you want to do with a mucosil clinically and how do you approach it so and we continually add to this based on your input so if you email us at info at sonopath.com say hey can you do uh, can you help us with probe positions well somebody we had a number of uh, people ask us that and we just today did a video on how to hold the probe in the S-step 17 point abdomen in the cardiac position so we did videos with that so we just continually adapt to the needs of our community um, so resources goes on and on we have interventional procedures traumatic, in, traumatic catheterization intraoperative ultrasound bubble study and you can see all of the things that are here uh, the Yuga Lab, the ultrasound guided trend, um, laser ablation procedure that I co-founded with Dr. Cerf in, in uh, Ridgewood Veterinary Hospital, Ridgewood, New Jersey. Um, and so there's an image, there's a video here and demonstrating how that works. There's a biopsy of the of the um, of the lesion, and here's an example of the uh, laser ablation procedure. As you can see, we're ablating a urethral and cyst urethral junction tumor. And again, my connection's just a little bit slow. It'll go faster the faster you have a connection. So I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment. Um, so different resources uh, that we have. There's my own personal library that you can email me about. If you need information, you need an article on a certain subject, I can I usually have that. Uh, these are all our presentations uh, that I've done personally and things that we have going on on Sonopath. If you want to come see me speak live uh, about any sort of subject, for example, 2015, I'm at the Minnesota State Meeting, 2014, kind of been all over the map, um, but uh, you can see where we're going to be. And so if you have any information or if you need any information at all, any questions at all, you can contact us at uh, info at sonopath.com or just go to our contact link. And up on the top here, we have lots of useful um, useful links. You can uh, combine your your uh, Twitter account, your Facebook account with Sonopath. You can go directly to Google Scholar, which I found to be a huge resource. I even like it better than PubMed. IVIS is another resource for articles and, and information. Uh, they have a lot of free articles there as well. And of course, International Variant Ultrasound Society. I'm the current president of that association, which we're growing rapidly, and it's a very, very solid organization. To, you can even certify yourself as a clinical sonographer once you go through the rigorous program um, that's all done remotely. So I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, the presentation today. And one last thing, if you are looking for a solid source for telemedicine, we are opening up that market. We have a screening process for ultrasound interpretation. Um, we, we start with uh, people with a certain criteria that want to grow in their, in their educational process. We report on what we see, but we shoot to primary or uh, private emails and uh, demonstrations on how to improve your technique based on the cases that we see. So we're an instructional service as well as a, a telemedicine service or uh, a teleconsultation service. And of course, now we have uh, Teleradiology with Dr. O'Brien and his crew uh, of radiologists from MRI, CT, and radiographs, and we have many more things coming down the pipe. So uh, I hope you enjoy us uh, here at sonopath.com. Join the community. It's a very tight-knit group. It's a very private community, and we all help each other out. So uh, thanks for spending time with me, and uh, I hope you have a great day.